would you look at that? We're doing Team Fortress Classic again. All right. Yeah, I'm intent fully intended to bring this back. It's going to be great. Coming back in full force. Uh, so that means we're going to be talking about Team Fortress Classic maps. Well, no. You know what we're going to do first? We're going to talk about all the Half-Life ma Deathmatch maps again. But in Team Fortress Classic. Yay! Yeah, if you're wondering why I'm doing that, it's just because I, I might as well. Because, you know, that's what someone... People wanted me to do that anyway back in the day, and I was doing that, like, beforehand anyway, so I might as well just do it again. Um, and before you ask what you mean by that, people would take the maps from Half-Life Deathmatch and literally just chuck them into Team Fortress Classics files and just, like, play them. And what would happen was, is that Team Fortress Classic, if the map it loads doesn't have any sort of, like, gameplay setup or anything. It just defaults to four-team deathmatch. And it's actually pretty fun. Um, it doesn't have any items or anything like that, so it's really unbalanced and really disjointed. But the thing is, I distinctly, with Boot Camp, remember playing on servers that had, like, a bunch of Team Fortress Classic maps in rotation, as you'd expect, and then it would get to this. People would just play Boot Camp and just kill each other. Because it's, it's actually pretty fun. Uh, some maps more, like, Half-Life maps are less fun because they're just not made for this kind of shenanigans. So the only real thing is, I'm not gonna go back over and, like, you know, show them the whole map again like I did with Half-Life. Because if you want, just go watch the Half-Life video I made on this. Um, I'll link it in the description to see, like, how this map is normally with its item placement. But if you're coming into this in Team Fortress Classic, um, what I recommend, strategy-wise, anyway, is try to guard... Um, but the dispensers, if you're like, try to coordinate with your team. The, the health dispensers and especially the, um, suit dispensers. The long jump doesn't do anything, even though it spawns. It's just funny. It's weird like that. Um, it's like, especially like, you know, that you're HEV. Because, uh, well, I went too far. Uh, these will actually keep charging a player's suit well past the, like, what it would normally would. So if you're like, heavy weapons guy, it'll actually go and keep charging it. Like, because, you know, the heavy weapons guy has a lot... A high maximum, uh, you know, armor count. So you want you want to like get your engineers and like you know your like demo men to really be guarding that if you want to do effectively. That's about the only real strategy I can think of. It's really crazy. Um, I might as well show this off though because I can't. I didn't do this uh, uh, when I first played in Half Life. But if you want to see Dario Casoli's signature, it is here. It's just um, it's just um, it's dark. You can't see it, but it'd be right here on this little square. Yeah, Th that's some. All right, so last time I did these videos, I insisted on always playing the medic, but I think this time around I'm gonna be a little bit more varied in the classes I pick. Just a heads up. I don't really think we need three spies in team deathmatch mode, guys. Come on, let's do soldier. That seems about like the most even start for the one of these things. Yeah, see, look at this. I should mention the grenades don't actually do anything. I don't even know why, like, you know, they spawn in because the entity that was in Half-Life just somehow behaves well with, um, Team Fortress here, but they, like, you know, you don't actually get any more frag grenades, which would be cool, actually. You see what I mean? Like, see, that only goes up to 100 normally in, uh, Half-Life, but it'll keep going to what your class is actually in Team Fortress Classic. Yeah, take- look at that! Look at that! Fresh start! Getting all right that, like, uh, uh, what? What? I'm trying to enjoy my ammo charge up, now you got a heavy weapons guy here. This is not what I need. Pull up the crates for good measure, though. Yes. That's what I needed after a long day of work. What are you doing, engineer? Come on now. I don't think the engineer bots on these deathmatch maps actually build anything. I use Foxbot, if you don't know. Oh yeah, this is a good way to get around the map a little bit more. Yeah, it is a little bit annoying how the game doesn't actually keep track of the amount of team kills. But then again, this is like, again, this is sort of like, the only reason why this even, like, you know, deathmatch mode exists is because it's just the way that, like I said, it's the default setup for a map in this game that doesn't really have a whole lot, like, to go on. Like, when you make a map, you specify rules and stuff in the game so it knows what to do, like with the flag and teams and stuff like that. This is just the default. 
It only ends up working well because these maps are made for deathmatch anyway. And like, you know, they work in Team Fortress Classic without fault because, you know, well, you know, Team Fortress Classic is a modification of Half-Life. So there's no reason for like these maps to not work there because all the textures and like models are there. But it is just kind of goofy, you know? It's just a pure happenstance thing. I mean, to talking about deathmatch. Team Fortress, the original, came from Quake, one of the definitive, like, you know, deathmatch games. And I probably brought this point up before in one of my early, like, older, like, original Team Fortress classic videos. So I wouldn't be surprised if that's, like, the whole reason people made that connection at all. Yeah, you don't like my grenade very much, dude. What actually killed- did my grenade kill him or did I- I don't know anymore. Thanks, friend! You're a friend! What a good friend, Spaminator! You're good spamming my fr your friendship. Oh, ha, ha, ha. Well, I think I've about seen all I need to uh, see here. Um, boot camp in Team Fortress Classic is unironically one of my favorite Team Fortress Classic maps. Like, it just works. It just happens to work as well in this game. And like, no wonder I've seen people play it on like actual TF TFC servers. Try it out.